Prince was used car cost thirteen thousand dollars. After his down payment of two thousand, he financed the remainder at six percent for four years. If the monthly payment on the loan is two hundred and fifty eight dollars and thirty nine cents, how much interest will Franklin pay over the term of the loan? And they want us to round that answer off to the nearest cent. Now this problem is different than the last couple we've worked. They already told us what the monthly payment was. We've been calculating monthly payments, but actually um, we know the monthly payment here, and we also know it's a four-year loan, so T is four, and we know it's a 6% interest rate, so little r is 6, 0 0.06 is a decimal, 6%, which is 0 0.06 is a decimal. Now, what is the present value? Well, Franklin bought a $13,000 car, but he paid 2000 of it already. So the present value is the amount that the car cost minus however much down payment was provided. So the present value is actually only $11,000. So be careful about that. Now, it's asking us how much interest he'll pay over the term of the loan. So you've got to think about this. Franklin's paying $258.39 every month. So if he paid in $258.39 every month after 12 months, that's a year, how much would he have paid in? Well, we can figure that out pretty easily. $258.39 times 12 equals. So that's $3,100.68 each year. Each year. But it's a four-year loan. So you got to multiply that by four years. So if I take that number and multiply it by 4, I end up with $12,402.72. That's the amount of money in total that Franklin paid in. The question said how much interest will he pay in? Well that's pretty simple because if he paid in $12,402.72 but he only borrowed $11,000 and we know that already from up here then the difference between what he borrowed and what he paid is the interest. So if you do the subtraction, you'd say minus 11,000, oops, 11,000, and that would be $1,402.72. So Franklin paid in interest a total of $1,402.72. So that problem's pretty easy. You just have to think it through, look at the information they give you, and, and just think about it. It's not a matter so much of even memorizing a formula here. It's just a matter of understanding what they're telling you, what's going on, and how to calculate that.